G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and today I've got a special guest with me in the garden and we're both mad scientists. Have you heard of electroculture? Well I have too and there's been a lot of buzz going around. So we thought we'd try our own electrical experiment in the garden in two different locations. Well, you might already be seeing a few different camera angles. That's because my guest, he is a professional photographer and I'm not. But I reckon I'm a better gardener than him. <laughs> We've got Weedy from the Weedy Garden. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's here today to help us go through this experiment of electricity but also the experiment of wonderful photography and videography. So let's... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Cut, cut. Mark, mate, I've always wanted to do that. Can I do that part? Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want to do that part because I've been looking forward to this part. G'day, everybody. Without further ado, let's get into it. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, mean, I think you could have put a bit more effort into the get into it bit. All oh, right, okay. We'll do and it. a bit of harder thumb. Okay, we'll do it one more time. G'day everybody, it's Weedy here from the Weedy Garden and I'm excited to join Mark today in his garden. So without further ado, let's get into it. That was better, wasn't it? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> It's going to be a warm one today, mate. It is really warm. I know, it was like 35 yesterday. Yeah, yeah. but at least it's overcast. We've got a bit of hard work ahead of us too. Yeah. Because we've got to clean these beds up because we're going to do this little experiment with electroculture. I mean, to be honest, I don't know anything about it. Neither do I. Neither does Mark. No. But we have been doing a little bit of research and we have, by looking through the internet and YouTube videos, we have found the most popular way to do it. And we don't even know if this is the correct way to do it, everybody. That's why this video is quite interesting, because if there's anybody out there that does know how to do it, and has got really good results, yeah, this is the best time to write it in the comments, wouldn't it be? It would be. But if you go on the interwebs and check it out... The what? The interwebs. <laughs> and, he means the internet, everybody. Yeah, the internet. <laughs> if you go on that and check it out, you, you come across all sorts of conflicting information. Yeah. Do you bury the wire? Do you not? How big is the stake and all that? So we just thought we'd just try our own design out, which is close to the, a mix of everything we've found, yeah. and, uh, and see if it makes like any difference at all. Um, we're going to make two beds at Mark's place. We're going to make this one. We're going to clean this up first. It's had tomatoes in it. Yes. And because we don't want the electroculture bed besides too close to the, ex the other experiment bed where we don't have any electroculture, we're going to put the other one down there. So we're going to put our electroculture around this one. And what is it? 15 meters down the back. We're going to make another bed. And we both went to the little nursery the other day and we both got two punnets of chilies. Chilies. Bird's eye chilies. Yep. And we got two punnets of eggplant. Eggplant. And we chose these plants because it's getting hot here in Australia and we wanted to get some plants that would like be able to do well in, yeah. in this heat. Do so. well naturally anyway. Chilies and eggplant and we've got a bit of summer corn here. So I've got a box full of these up there and, and Mark's got a box full here. And exactly the same. Exactly the same, okay. Yeah. And I'm going to go home when we finish Mark's, I'm going to go home to the weedy garden and I'm going to make two beds exactly the same as Mark's, going to set it up exactly the same as we've done today and so we can see what happens. So we're not only going to mirror here and Dave's place, we're also going to mirror two garden beds in our own places. Yeah. One with electrification and the other one without and see how they go. And for those who aren't sure what this electrification thing is or electroculture, <laughs> electroculture basically means it it's harnessing the energy of the earth, the natural energy, using copper wire and stakes to go into the ground and that should generate a bit of buzz with the microbes and all the nutrients and everything and make the plants grow better. Is that yeah. correct? Well, that's what they say. I mean, I do know that the earth is the negative component of our battery and up there, several kilometres up, is the positive aspect. Right. And that's why when you see lightning, it's the positive and the negative coming closer yes. and closer in the atmosphere and the water and then we get yes. the spark. Yes. Just like when you hold two wires together, yep. it'll spark. Yes. 
So there is energy, and we are energy. We're built up of atoms, and atoms are just little balls of energy. Electricity. Yeah. So there is something about life and electricity. And there is a possibility that these people that do electroculture aren't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. And we'll clean this bed up, hey? Yeah, okay. So let's do that. Okay. We'll set it on time lapse so it's like ch -ch -ch -ch, it's yeah. real quick. Yeah, let's do it fast as. Yeah, let's do it fast yeah. as. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we've, we've seen a few different techniques, haven't we? Yeah. Um, but the most popular one, and the one that everyone's raving about when they're saying, oh yeah, this works, this works, is, is just simply with a bamboo stick or a wooden stick. They say it's important to use wooden sticks or bamboo sticks. I want to put it up about two two meters or so. Yeah. Because the higher you get, the more elect the more electricity th yeah. is. The higher yes. you go. Yes. Apparently, I was speaking to an electrician yesterday, and he said that. Yeah. Can we just let's zip tie these together? Yes. Put them nice and tight. How's that? How's that? Not out. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go back to the weedy garden and do this exact same experiment at my place. So yep. if you want to see that one, then you'd have to go and jump over to the weedy garden channel. At the same time too, it'll and be released. Uh, we'll, be, we'll put these out yep. at the same time. So yep. this is only a setup video. We're not going to have the results on this video. This is a setup video. So you can also join in. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon if you're interested to, to do the same experiment. So it's not just Mark and I that do it be interesting to get a whole bunch of people to do it and, and see. Yeah, and get on the comments section on both our channels in these videos, in the setup videos, and let us know what you've done. Yeah. Even if you've slightly changed things or you know more than us. You might have a, yeah. you might have a, a method that's been successful for you. And if it's um, different to this, then let us know. Yeah. I like your garden beds, mate. Oh, thanks, you mate. You've got plenty of them. Where do you get those from? <laughs> Birdie's garden beds. Oh, Birdie's there's garden a, beds. Yeah, there's a link in the description, actually. Oh. <laughs> You've got a fair few of them, haven't you? How many of these beds have you got? About 56. 56? Yeah, raised garden beds. Are they, what are they called? Bur birdies. birdies. Yeah, birdies. Birdies garden beds. 5% discount for anyone that buys them through that link. All right, so yeah. if I use the code, I can get 5% off. Yeah. I might have to get myself one or two. Yeah, no worries. It's good when we're too, eh? No, it makes it go a lot quicker. Yeah. Yeah, you like doing experiments. I remember the first video I ever saw on gardening. I went onto YouTube and I searched gardening, how to garden. And you know what I found? What? Your video from years ago where you buried vegetables in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I actually like that because I yeah. like that experimental sort of inquisitive mind that you have. You know what I was really liked was that broccoli experiment that you did in your organic food video. Yeah. yeah. That there was... Yeah, I got an organic broccoli and, yeah. a, and a one from the store, from the yeah, supermarket. That's I put right. them together and I gave them to my worms. And I said, you, you go, guys. And you know what they did? They demolished and devoured the organic one way before they even started eating the one from the store. And what's that tell us? That worms, that worms are smart. Yes. <laughs> yes. And they're not going to eat the junk first. Yeah. They're going to eat the one with the most nutrition. That's what they did, yeah. Yeah. So now, the next thing is to put the copper wire on everybody. Yes. And um, from what I understand, it's different if you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. So. They say it matters which way you turn it. So if you're in the northern hemisphere, you want the spiral as you're looking down from the sky, looking down on the spiral, you want it to go clockwise. Clockwise if you're living in the northern hemisphere. Living in the southern hemisphere, then it needs to go anti-clockwise. Okay, so we've done ours anti-clockwise because we're in the southern hemisphere. Yep. All right, and once we've got the little, the little antenna little thingy, <laughs> Then we've got to do the same thing, anti-clockwise all the way around. So if I hold this up the top, Mark. Yes. And, um, and I can do it, because I'm taller. Yes. A little bit. You are a lot taller. And we want this all the way down, and um, we stick this in the ground, so the wire has to go all the way down to the bottom of the stick. Yeah, because the idea is the electricity has got to go into the soil. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. And then just tie that around. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Okay. And then we've got our little antenna at the top here. That's it, everybody. See? Nice. A nice little electroculture antenna. Ta da. And then we just put that in the corner here. I'll put it in this corner. Yep. One in each corner we've got to do. So that's one. Put it down the ground of about 30 centimeters. 
a bit more, a little bit more about that. That's good. That's two. Even though Mark and I are doing it in different places in the country, it'd be nice to see different results from around the world, actually, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. And on the when we come back after three months and do the second video to see how this has all gone, we could maybe include some of the images from the, yeah, people, that are from the people that are watching. That's right. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna revisit this in about three months. Yeah. Because it'll months. take about three months for yep. the chili and the eggplant and the corn. Yeah. So that'll give us a good idea. Yeah. So if you're watching this video as it's new and you want to try it, then in, in three months or so, you can send you you can send you you got a place to send photos? Yeah, yeah, selfsufficientme.com, go to the website and you should be able to send that through. Through an email. So yeah, through the contact email. Okay. Or just mark at selfsufficientme.com. Right. And they can send it through to that. Or the weedy garden at gmail.com. Yeah. Right? You'll have to come and visit my garden one day. Mate. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do that and maybe next year sometime. Yeah. Early next year. That's right, that'll yeah. be quick. So we want these about we want one in each corner and we want yeah. one in spacings of about one meter. Yeah. So I think we just have to put two more in, mate. Yep, okay. The reason to spiral these is, for some reason, it increases the electrical current. If you're an electrician, you might have heard that. So this one goes here. This is the last one. And then we'll plant our veggies. Yep. It's gonna be interesting to see whose veggies do. That as well. We could play on that, you know, um, whoever grows the best veggies at the same time. That could be funny. Yeah. So you're using um, you're using a bit of chicken manure and uh, what do you got in here? Uh, a little bit of um, old compost and mulch and um, some rock rock minerals. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be using my own 21 day compost. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. This is the last one. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, they're um, already starting to grow. Hokey crikey. crikey. Do you see that? They've got yeah. a centimetre high know, since we got here. I know, I just saw that. It's just like in, in real time. It's exciting. Yeah. I'm glad we're not planting this in a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to put in our little veggies, Mark. Yes. I was thinking, where's the sun? Where's, uh, where's north? Well, north we're looking that way. Alrighty, so the sun's like that, so I'm thinking yeah. the, the high plant, the corn, we'll put this on the back here. Yes, good idea. Yeah. So it won't shade out the other smaller crops. So we want to actually divide these up in two, actually. So yeah. we've got one corn for this bed. Yes. And one corn for the other bed. Yes. And then we'll put the eggplant in the middle. Yep. And we'll put the chilies down the back here. Alrighty, so that's uh, that one bed planted out. We've got our corn here, eggplants, some yummy birds on chilies. We'll go down the back and plant the other stuff. Yes, okay. Hang on a second. We're doing this electroculture by putting some metal up. Yeah. I'm just wondering, wh wh why wouldn't this be classified as electroculture? Well, the galvanised mesh. galvanised mesh yeah. is just as conductive as copper. Well, it's not as conductive. Copper's a little bit more conductive. That's why they use copper. Yeah, in electricity. exactly. But you make a good point. Why wouldn't this bring at least some type of electric pulse yeah. into the bed? Because that's all we're doing, aren't we? Yeah. Anyone got a good answer for that? Please write it in the comments and we'll be all the wiser. Yes. Yeah. All right, down at the other bed. It's pretty much exactly the same as that other bed in as far as soil goes, top soil. Yeah, and same soil in? Yeah, very much similar. Well, we'll put a bit of this chicken manure in like we did before. Yeah, same chicken manure, same rock minerals. We'll do the same thing here. We'll put the corn at this end. Yep. Um, eggplants in the middle? Yes. Chili at the end? Yep. Okay. Pretty much mirror opposite. Yeah. Plant one. Two little corn? Yes. Is this two coming up? Yes. I'm thinking they're sort of going to sit there and squabble about who wants to come up and it's going to waste, they're going to waste a bit of time doing that. They will compete, yeah. So what do you reckon we should just chop one out? Yeah, I think so. You Get choose. rid of one. You choose. It's You're a shame, but... So make sure you guys go across to Weedy's channel and have a look at his video and get a bit more information. You know how you can find my channel? How? See that little button up there? Yes. That's where you press on that one. Oh, that one? Yeah. Uh, that's oh. on that side. Oh, that side there? Yeah. Oh, press yeah. Press on that one. It goes it. straight to my channel. Oh, cool. Straight to the video that, we're, oh, yeah. that okay. I'm going to work on. All right, perfect. It's, it makes it simple, eh? Yeah, it does. Thanks for inviting me down, mate. Yeah, no worries, it's, mate. It's always fun hanging out with another fellow gardener. Yeah, fellow mad gardening scientist. Yeah. 
experimenter. Because you sort of have to be a bit of a special person to love gardening, <laughs> don't you? Because a lot of people don't like getting their hands dirty. I just love the feeling. It's like a kid in the playground or in the sand pit. Yeah. You know, getting their hands dirty, it takes me back to my childhood sometimes. That's right, yeah. So these plants, they should grow well. Like, it's not like we're planting them in crappy soil or anything. We've given them some love. They're in good soil. The beds have been rested. So there's no excuse for them not to grow well. The experiment is which grows better. Yeah. That's the thing. So I'm expecting, like always, these plants should grow good. And, you know, I've also seen, uh, I've read that people say that yeah, if you do electroculture, you don't have to have good soil, but that's that's not true. No, I don't think so. You can't, electroculture no. won't produce nutrients out of thin air. No, it won't no. do that, and it won't stimulate microbes if there's no microbes there. That's right. So yeah. you have to, if you're doing the experiment, you have to have good soil. Yeah, yeah. To start off with. Yeah. Okay. Good night, little girls. Hope you have a nice little life down here in this little bed, in little birdie bed number thirty-six. I think they'll I think do think well. I think we're done, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's it. They look happy. Got the antennas up there sitting, looking like it's out of a, a science fiction movie or something yeah, like that. Yeah, And uh, this one just as you normally would. Yeah. So if you're going to join us in the experiment, please do so. And like we said before, uh, we'll be back in about three months' time. Yep. And uh, reporting on our progress. Send in your pictures to us. Yeah. And we'll include that in the last video and uh, see the results. But yeah, all we can do now is trust the science <laughs> and uh, and hope that we get a an interesting result. Well, yeah, even yeah. if we don't get any results, we'll be all the wiser by doing the experiment, eh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, for okay. sure. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big weedy thumbs up, share the video around, go and see Weedy, uh, go to his channel. If you haven't subscribed to this fantastic videographer and photographer, you're missing out on something. Yeah. So get there and subscribe to him. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. And thanks for having me, Mark. Yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. It was Cheers. A pleasure. Yeah. All right. Cheers. See you, everybody. Bye for now. <laughs>